Surprise, you've been downgraded. Hey, it's Eric Osses here with ericasmybanker.com and CMG Home Loans with my weekly update on mortgage rates for the week ending August 4, 2023. What happens to your credit score when you don't manage your finances responsibly and you accumulate too much debt? It drops, right? That's exactly what happened to the United States government this week. On Tuesday, Fitch, a major credit rating firm, downgraded its rating on U.S. debt from AAA down to AA+, causing stocks to fall and rates to rise. Fitch stated, The repeated debt limit political standoffs and last-minute resolutions have eroded confidence in fiscal management as the reason for the downgrade. The bond market had to digest this troubling information along with a really strong ADP jobs report on Wednesday that showed 324,000 jobs were added in July. But Friday's Bureau of Labor Statistics jobs report indicated only 187,000 jobs were created in July. There's always a discrepancy between ADP and BLS due to the methodology of the data analysis, but a closer look at the BLS data is enlightening. If you look at behind the headline 187,000 jobs number, the household survey, that's the part that involves actual phone interviews, um, the majority of new jobs created were part-time. Worse yet, the number of full-time positions fell by 585,000 jobs. This shows underlying weakness in our jobs picture. Uh, strong jobs numbers was the Fed's reason for hiking rates in July. Could July's weak numbers, jobs numbers, compel the Fed to pause hiking at their next meeting, which happens in September? Guess we'll have to find out. For the week, mortgage rates were slightly higher. Here are the national averages. Conventional 30-year fixed rate, 7.20, that's up 0.08 from a week ago. 15-year fixed rate, 6.60, that's up 0.15% from a week ago. 30-year fixed rate, FHA and VA, 6.92%, that's up 0.12 from a week ago. 30-year fixed rate jumbo, 7.23%, that's up 0.13 from a week ago. Moving on, a financial management tool that will save you interest. With mortgage rates still elevated, many buyers are sitting on the sidelines or waiting for rates to fall. But there is a loan program, scratch at, a financial management tool uh, that can save you thousands in interest even in today's interest rate environment. It's called the All-in-One Loan, and it's a program that is exclusive to CMG Home Loans. The All-in-One Loan combines a first lien home equity line of credit, a HELOC, with a sweep checking account. It works by having your pay deposited directly against the principal balance of your loan every time you're paid. You can then use the sweep checking account to withdraw funds as you need them, which would cause the balance to rise. Interest on the loan is calculated daily, so every time you deposit funds, your balance falls and you pay less interest. And the longer you can keep the balance down, the more interest you save. So, uh, for pay your bills later in the month, I said later, not late, uh, to save even more interest. I ran a scenario this week for a client who's purchasing a home and needs a $500,000 loan. Uh, compared to a 7.25% 30 year fixed rate, the all in one loan should be paid off in only 10.3 years. In her case, it would save $468,285 in interest expense. Now, the amount that she would save would be different because the, 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 it is a financial management tool. The more you deposit, the more you save. The, the less you take out, the more you save. And, and how you use the account will really affect your overall savings. Uh, but for certain circumstances, man, it can make a huge difference. If you deposit your pay into a checking account right now, how much interest are you earning on that? Nothing, right? Or barely anything. This is a financial tool that puts those funds to work for you. It's sophisticated, but it's worth exploring. It's available for purchases, refinances, it's available for primary residence, second homes, and investment properties. For more information, reach out to me. I'd love to give you a demonstration on it. We'll see if it makes sense for you. So just reach out. You can call me 206-915-3742. That's 206-915-ERIC. Or you can email me, eric at ericismybanker.com. Or look for me on social media. Just look for Eric Is My Banker and you'll find me. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get these updates every single week. That's all I've got for you this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Reach out if I can help. Talk to you next week.